Our patient was a 63 year old gentleman with 5 day history of chest pain. ECG showed anterior ball MI. Echo revealed a akinetic and a thinned out LED territory with 6 to 7 mm of apical ventricular septal defect and a EF of 30%. Coronary angiogram revealed mid LED 100% occlusion and rest of the coronaries were normal. IBP was put and the patient was taken up for surgery. This is the pre-op echocardiogram with a ventricular septal defect at the apex and a left to right shunt. Median stenotomy was done. There were fibrinous pericardial adhesions. Adenylolysis was performed with electrocautery dissecting towards the pericardium and keeping in mind not to enter the epicardial fat. A pericardial patch was then harvested for later use. Standard cardiopulmonary bypass was established with IO2 bicable cannulation and denlindocardioplegia was used. LED was identified near the apex and two 5 stage sutures were taken few centimeters later to it. This will be the site of the ventriculotomy. Ventriculotomy was done between these two stage sutures. Here you can appreciate the infarcted and the enrhythmal area around the apex. Two plagiated 5 stay sutures were then taken to evert the margins. Dusky and friable LV myocardium at the edge of the ventriculotomy can be noted here. The myocardium was inspected for the extent of infarction and the VSD was subsequently identified. Here you can note that the myocardium surrounding the defect is infarcted and the edges of the defect are very friable. So before proceeding further, let's have a look at the concept of suture placement. In this picture, the yellow part is the infarcted myocardium and the pink one is the healthy one. The arrows, these depict the suture path. All the sutures should go through the healthy myocardium and not through the infarcted myocardium. Otherwise, the event eventually the sutures will cut through and will not hold. When repairing through the LV side, we tend to place the pleget on the RV side. So if this is the defect, this is the infarcted myocardium and this is the healthy myocardium, we tend to place all the sutures through the healthy myocardium and all these pleggets, they also land on the healthy myocardium. We take polypropylene 4 suture on a 26 mm needle with pleggets made of soft felt, PTFE. Now we are taking the sutures. Note should be made that the needle is coming out through the healthy looking myocardium. You can see the edges of the defect are dusky, yellowish and friable. Also note that the sutures are placed in a manner that the pleasures are on the right ventricular side. Proper suture placement far from the edge of the VSD and through the healthy myocardium holds the key of this repair. Here you can see it better how the needle is coming out through the pink healthy myocardium. Few sutures were taken from the outside of the heart for a better hold since the corresponding area of the VSD was not healthy and there was risk of cutting through of the sutures. This is the final arrangement of the interrupted sutures. 
with all the sutures coming out through healthy looking myocardium and a couple of sutures being taken from the outside of the heart. We close the defect with Dacron patch. However, bovine pericardium can also be used for the same. The patch is fashioned keeping in mind that it should be large since the sutures are coming out far from the edge of the defect. The sutures are now passed through the patch. The patch is gently lowered out into the left ventricular cavity and the sutures are tightened. We tend to keep the patch loose so that the tightened sutures are not under tension when the LV is contracting. Now the interrupted suture line is reinforced with a continuous 4 polypropylene suture supported by a pericardial strip. This pericardial strip ensures that the suture's throws do not cut through the myocardium. So this is the final seating of the patch. The Dacron patch, this covers the defect and the sutures and the pledgets are on the healthy myocardium. The pledgets are the RV side. The continuous suture line, this one, is being supported by a pericardial strip so that this part, these sutures, these throws of the sutures, they do not cut through. One more defect, rather a track, was seen from which the blood was coming when the right heart was filled. This was also closed using a Dacron patch in a similar fashion as described. This is the final repair with both the patches in place. Now we will proceed for the closure of the ventriculotomy. The ventriculotomy is closed with 3 of polypropylene interrupted mattress sutures on a 26 mm needle. This is being reinforced by PTFE heart felt strips on either side of the ventriculotomy. Here also, be sure that all the suture throws are through healthy myocardium, which is usually few centimeters away on either side of the ventriculotomy incision. Take a note that when these sutures are eventually tightened, the infarcted and the invisible myocardium is excluded. Now, whole of this interrupted suture arrangement is covered by a broad strip of pericardium using 3O or a 4O 26mm polypropylene suture in a continuous suture fashion. This 
pericardial strip eventually helps in hemostasis. This is the diagrammatic representation of the final suture line. You can see the infarcted part is excluded and whole of this is covered with pericardium. The clamp was removed and rhythm was established. We do not use bi glue or other hemostatic materials over the ventriculotomy suture line. Here you can see the blood is coming from beneath the pericardial strip. This eventually stops after protamine and packing. However, the bleeding that is a major concern is the one that comes beneath the felt. This signifies that the interruptive sutures are gradually cutting through. In such a case, further repair should be done on cardiopulmonary bypass with cardioplegic arrest and no attempt should be made to handle this off pump. This is the post-op echo of the patient showing VSD patch in situ with no residual shunt. This is another case where it looked like the VSR, the ventricular septal rupture, was apical in the echo. However, defect could not be found after the LV ventriculotomy. The RA was then opened and defect could be seen far away in the RVOT. The RVOT was then opened. Here you can see the opened RVOT with PA catheter in place and a suction catheter being passed through the defect which is coming out through the left ventricle, which can be appreciated in the top right hand corner of this picture. The defect was closed in a similar fashion as described above and here also couple of sutures were taken from outside. The RVOT was then closed with autologous pericardium followed by LV ventriculotomy closure and RA closure.